The song was Herded in a Love Song. The year was 1977. I'm Doug Gray of the Marshall Tucker Band, and these are the sounds of time. It was 1972 when a group of musicians in Spartanburg, South Carolina first joined forces. We were in competing bands before we got together as a band. So when we got together as a band, it wasn't like picking the best from the area. It was like making each other happy because I'm happy to know that I've heard this guy sing or I heard this guy play. So we got together that way. We all, we all just, we all liked each other. That, you know, we rode around in Greyhound buses and Dodge vans, stuff like that, in order to get closer. The original lineup included lead vocalist Doug Gray, guitarist and main songwriter Toy Caldwell, and several others. It did not include anyone named Marshall Tucker. That name was chosen under pressure from one of the band's early promoters. He left for an hour, promoter came back and said, OK, I need a name to put on the marquee and the handbills. We didn't want to call it Toy Factory, and we definitely didn't want to call it Doug Band. And all we had was the key that let us into our little warehouse room. On the key was a little white tag, a little bitty old style white tag, had Marshall Tucker on it. What's this Marshall Tucker? Why don't we just call it Marshall Tucker Band for the weekend? The name stuck. And the band later discovered that Marshall Tucker was a blind piano tuner who had rented the rehearsal room before them. He became a friend and fan of the players. The band's first hits were rooted firmly in the hard-edged Southern rock tradition. But that changed with a song written in 1976. Toy wrote it for a whole year. I used an excuse not to have to sing it. Oh, I got a little cold up. I didn't want to record that song. I said, now how many people are going to, you know, really relate to this as a Southern, all my brothers, he, you know, all these other grinder switch and all these other Southern bands down through there were, uh, you know, it was always, we we're supposed to be the tough guys, right? People would walk into a bar, people would be scared to death. But uh, I heard it in a love song was like weird because we got out there and the little girls, I call them a little because I have daughters, but those little girls started screaming, okay? And it was like miraculous change overnight. All of a sudden, we were a pop band. I finally recorded that song. That track was already cut. Everything was done. The record company called up and said, you know, we're going to put this record out regardless. So I drove down to Macon, Georgia from Spartanburg and walked in the studio and cut it two or three times and that was it. And it was out a month later and all of a sudden this started happening. It got us back into headline stat right there, right off the bat. Promoters were calling, we were having to turn down dates. Eventually we all realized it, that, uh, that it was fun to do those kind of songs. Toy would probably never write another song like that. Okay, I can't imagine that he would, even though he's been gone for a long time now. It's a little bit different than any of the Marshall Tucker stuff. Can't be 